phrase hopes to inspire all of us. The title of his speech is Refuse to Join Recession.com. Refuse to Join Recession.com. Trace Trahana. Thank you. Thank you. I refuse to join the recession. These are empowering words that imply that we have a choice. We can choose to thrive and triumph even in this difficult environment. These words did not come out of a flaky, new age, eternally optimistic person. These words were spoken by a real estate agent 62-year young uh, uh, real estate agent in California. Her name is Eunice. And she is selling more houses now than ever before. Despite what all the media has brainwashed us that selling houses today is impossible. She says, I refuse to join the recession. These are powerful and profound words and they pushed me to look for people out there like Eunice who are beating the recession. So I'm going to tell you stories of three people beating the recession right now, and I'm going to give you a simple way to access that information so that you too will be inspired and you too will be able to, to, to thrive even in this recession. Stories like the story of Cynthia from North Carolina. Cynthia is in the direct sales business and she told me her business grew by 50%. Doesn't she realize what the media has been telling that people are not buying stuff nowadays? That's supposed to be, we are in a recession? Cynthia doesn't care. She says, I refuse to join the recession. What about the story of Greg, who is a mortgage broker here in Cincinnati? I asked Greg, well, what happened to your business now that 80% of mortgage brokers are no longer mortgage brokers when banks started not lending money. Greg gave me a big smile. And he said, you know what Trace, my business has tripled when the recession hits. Tripled. It did not grow by 10% or 50%. It grew by basically 200%. Greg says, I refuse to join the recession. And then we have Tom, a, a commercial real estate broker and owner. When the recession hits, he lost millions of dollars. Tom is not a very young man. He is in what we call the twilight, in the twilight of his investing or working career. But he did not give up. As Norman Vincent Peale said, winners never quit and quitters never win. And so Tom rose up, picked himself up, and he joined a business that is helping other people save money. And now Tom's income is increasing, whereas everybody else around him are decreasing or declining. Tom says, I refuse to join the recession. So when I heard about all these stories of people who are beating the recession, I vowed to write about them in a book because I want the world to know their stories. I want the world to be inspired. But I knew based on publishing my first book, it could take months, 12 months, maybe even more before the book gets published. But the world needs the information right now. The world needs to be inspired today. And so what I did was, I put up a website, refuse to join recession.com. In that website, I write about their stories. I even interview them over the phone so you will hear and read and even see them and you can learn what they're doing in their own lives so that you too will be able to apply what they're learning in your own life. I am not saying that there is no recession. As someone who predicted back in November 2005, I don't know Beth if you remember, in this same Toastmaster setting, I predicted the fall of the stock market, the fall of the real estate market, the high unemployment rate, and the collapse of the dollar. 
And I predict we are in for a very tough time. The recession is here to stay. My fellow Toastmasters, Madam Toastmaster and honored guest, the recession is here to stay and things will get worse before they get better. But what I'm saying is, let's stop inundating ourselves with all the bad news from the media. And instead, let's take responsibility in our own, in our own hands. Let's take our financial destiny in our own hands. Because you know what? Obama will not bail you out. Your employer will not bail you out. Only you, yes you, only you will bail you out. So let me sum up with a story from John C. Maxwell. He tells the story of three men on a boat in the middle of a big lake. The wind died down. The pessimist says, oh no, we will all die because we will never reach the shore for the wind will never come. The optimist says, oh, come on, let's sit down, drink some beer, you know, because the wind will come. Don't worry about it. The leader adjusts the sails. So now that you've heard these three stories of people beating the recession, and you have access to that website, and it's absolutely free, my plea to you is this. Take responsibility. Let us lead ourselves out of this recession because no one will do it but us. Let us not procrastinate about it. And so, if you do that, if you join the website, refuse to join recession.com, we will all be able to say, together with Eunice, that real, it, that real estate agent in California, we will all be able to say, I refuse to join the recession. Madam Toastmaster. Thank you very much, Trace.